in the late 1980s, the Soviet Union successfully developed a multiple rocket launcher system known as the TOS-1. They referred to this weapon as a heavy flamethrower system. It demonstrated its capabilities in later conflicts, such as the Chechen War and the Iraq War. It has proven to be a powerful heavy artillery weapon with extensive coverage when used effectively. However, while firing may be exciting, the reloading process is exhausting. Take the M081801 M04M ammunition used for training as an example. Each rocket weighs 217 kilograms, and since the launcher is mounted above the tank's hull, it is difficult to rely solely on manpower for transportation and reloading. During the Soviet era, ammunition supply trucks were developed as carriers, and later Russia developed an updated ammunition supply vehicle called the TZMT. The TZMT was developed on the chassis of the T-72A tank, retaining the armor protection of the hull. Two sets of vertically arranged ammunition racks were installed side by side on top of the hull, with each rack capable of carrying 12 rockets. They were evenly divided into three rows. Interestingly, each ammunition rack has an additional removable armor cover. In the middle of the ammunition racks, there is a hydraulic crane with a lifting capacity of one ton. Its jib can rotate 50 de ground to the left and 210 de ground to the right, sufficient for the lifting tasks of the armored casing and rockets. The crane is designed to ensure uninterrupted lifting for 200 cycles without any malfunctions, completing the replenishment of a TOS-1 in approximately 24 minutes. Although not a combat vehicle, the TZMT still considers basic self-defense needs. The vehicle is operated by a crew of three, including the driver, commander, and crane operator. The main defensive weapon is an RPKS-74 machine gun with 14 on 40 rounds of ammunition. Additionally, it carries two AKS-74 assault rifles with 600 rounds, five RPG-26 anti-tank grenades, and 10 F-1 hand grenades. The crew has different day and night observation devices, eliminating the need to expose themselves for observation. External communication relies on the R-11635U 50 radio with a communication range of approximately 20 kilometers, while internal communication is conducted through intercoms. The vehicle provides protection against chemical and nuclear environments and is equipped with smoke generators capable of quickly producing smoke screens ranging from 250 to 400 meters in length. Currently, the number of TZM-1 vehicles in service is not significant. In 2009, the Russian military proposed equipping each TOS-1 battalion with two TZM-1 vehicles. However, considering the overall number of TOS-1 units, the quantity of active TZM-1 vehicles is relatively low. Previous reports indicated that the Russian military used TOS-1 and TZM-1 on the front lines and at least one TZM-1 was destroyed by Ukrainian forces.